Hello, hello. If you would like a quick peek of my journaling Bible that I just got, then stay tuned. So I thought I would do something that is a little bit different. And so if Bible journaling is not for you, then weep, <laughs> probably not the video for you to watch. I got this Bible from Amazon um, last week, I believe now. And I have been wanting to do some Bible journaling when I have time. It's not something I'm going to do every single day because I know I just won't have time to do it every day. But now and again, it would just be really nice to be able to just do some kind of de-stressing, relaxing type um, art. And I thought, what better way to do that than to just kind of pour my heart into a Bible journal. And the best thing about this is that when, you know, I know this sounds morbid, but like when I pass away, this is something that can continue with my family. And um, it's a pretty durable cover and I don't really plan on tipping in a lot, so I really shouldn't ruin the binding. Um, but I will kind of get into that as I go. But of course, looking at it, I mean, it just screams me because again, it has the butterfly and beautiful flowers and purple. <laughs> so I just really wanted um, something that brought me joy every single time that I came to it. And this sure screams joy to me. So with that being said, I figured I would show you guys so I'm not sure if um, this particular company actually um, does anything different as far as translation wise. This particular one is, hang on, a NLT, which is a New Living Translation. Um, now, um, again, you know, some people when it comes to Bibles will be like, oh no, it has to be this, it has to be that. <clears throat> I have a number of them. And so when I am really digging through scripture, if there's anything very specific, I want to see what different translations have to say, then I will either pull out a different Bible or I have the Holy Bible app here on my phone and you can click read and then there are all these translations. So honestly, if I really need to see something from a different translation, I can just look at that app. So um, I just wanted to, you know, point that out in case anybody's like, oh, I don't really like that particular translation. For me, especially for this purpose, it really, it doesn't matter. So that is this. A little bit of tidbit of information. So today, the day of me filming this, is, or actually no, today's the seventh. So it was yesterday on October 6th. Um, in 1536, William Tyndale was burnt at the stake for translating the Bible into English. And to me, that is, it's, <laughs> I'm <in a> fuss. <laughs> it's very sobering because there are so many brave warriors out there that have, um, done things despite knowing that they would be persecuted for Christ. And 
obviously, you know, he was one of them. He, you know, he made that decision that he wanted everybody to have the opportunity to be able to read the Bible. And so it definitely is a sobering tidbit of information to have gleaned. Um, so anyway, and you know, I'm moderately over emotional today. <laughs> can't guarantee that this won't end up becoming an emotional video but anywho so the front is made out of and you know sometimes y'all I tend to um describe things wrong a little bit so I'm gonna say it's I mean it has like this corduroy vinyl-y plastic feel to it. Let me see if I can get texture at all. Probably not. I mean, I can barely see it with my eyes, so the chances y'all are going to see it are pretty slim, but you can hear it. So it's definitely like waterproof exterior, which is great um, all the way around. It's bound really well. So you can see, let me look. I haven't like fully inspected it. I was trying to see if I can find. I mean, it looks sewed and glued and taped. So you can see that. You can kind of see. Now, this back um, part of the binding or, you know, or the cover for the binding is not attached, which is pretty common practice to allow for a little more movement in the actual book itself. Um, I, you know, I've seen some people complain that, you know, this isn't attached to this, but I have a lot of books that are made that way and, and it works well. And they do have that, you can see, it's like a reinforcement tape on the back. Another reason why I really like it when it's like this is if I do start seeing that there's an issue, I can always slide some more binding tape down through the back and reinforce it more myself just to make sure that that each signature um, doesn't come apart. And you can see that it is put together in signatures because you can kind of see how the signatures separate right there. So see all those separate signatures. So they're all kind of done together. You know, all of these here were done together as the book was being put, put together. And then it's just stuck together as one. So I think it will hold up really well to Bible journaling. And that is obviously a super bonus. So next. So these are the main pages and you can see I've already started kind of playing with it. Just one day I was like just talking with family and pulled out some markers and just really started coloring it. And that's really my plan. I want to put a lot of color in this and um, other things just to kind of have as a little bit of, you know, memorabilia. Same here. Um, I haven't, that, that front page is all I've done so far. So the rest of this is empty, but so then that's the first one. And so here is the paper itself and there wasn't a whole ton of information. I'm just looking really quick. Yeah, there's really nothing there. There wasn't a whole ton of information on like what the paper is or its thickness or anything like that. But compared to other Bibles, it's decent. Um, not like super thick, not crazy thin, because I know that there are a lot of journal Bible journals of people complain that the paper is pretty thin and when they actually start putting multimedia on it it just doesn't hold up real well so I'm assuming because they have all this stuff for coloring that they've tested this out and they know that it's decent 
Um, we can actually, let's go ahead on this paper whilst I'm here and let me find some markers. Well, actually, let's do, let's, cause I love these sparkly ones. I know, I just love sparkle. Um, <laughs> pink, there it is. Okay, this is just a jelly pen, um, jelly roll pen, but it's like the, it's a sparkle one. This one came with, I think like a Simply Gilded kit or something. I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pick something and we're gonna color it. And I like it cause it's pink and it has sparkle. <laughs> So when we're done coloring this, which, you know, this lays down pretty wet. Um, and like I said, then it has the sparkle. So this should be a good indicator when we get to the other flip to the other side of the paper, how, and this is how I color y'all. I, I, some people are probably laughing at me. I mean, obviously doing it on a video, it, it's hard to like physically color in the lines and talk at the same time. <laughs> but this is how I normally color anyway, especially with these markers, because I try to do my best to keep my hand out of the space that I've just colored in or else I'm going to smear them everywhere because they do take a little while to dry. So yeah, I usually just spin whatever it is that I'm coloring around so that I can't necessarily get my hand in it. And I don't know, that's a little weird little thing you probably just learned about me or maybe you've picked it up on some of my other videos where I was actually coloring I don't know but okay almost done and let's take a look it's still kind of wet but that's okay so and this is you're seeing this for the first time with me so it does ghost a good bit with those jelly pens. You can see it has ghosted through the a note to readers here. So it's it's kind of pink right there. So, you know, I mean probably like colored pencils and some of that stuff is going to be better on this Bible than um markers you know so now like these pages back here are made out of more of like a cardstock type paper so obviously there's zero bleed through on the on the second page here from this so uh, maybe like markers and that on these thick pages and then on the actual bible pages themselves might have to more stick with um, colored pencils and have those other like little crayony things. I always forget what they're called because I almost never ever use them and they're too far away for me to grab because they're in like my outer storage uh, in my office because literally I just I don't use them. Um, but I've seen a lot of people use those. They, they kind of almost look like little lipsticks and I'm sure somebody will be able to correct me because I'm sure y'all know a lot better than me. They're like pastels or something. So, um, yeah, so the paper itself is probably a little bit too thin for markers in, in my opinion. Um, I think I'll have to more stick with colored pencils and, and the like, which I have so many of. Okay. So one thing that I thought was really, really cool is I'm trying to think if it's, if it breaks it up. Let me look. Cause I don't know. No, it doesn't. Um, I thought maybe it was breaking it up by chapters with these, but I think they're just in here like after each signature, they have a little piece of vellum, which I find so daggone cute that they have this. So you have this like really cool, you know, um, 
page, like see-through vellum page that goes to the other side of the scripture. And, you know, when you end up writing here, you're going to kind of see it through this. I just think it's so cool. And it's all, it's like there every signature throughout the whole thing. There's all different ones. So you can use like stays on stamps and you can actually stamp something on this as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I've done a few different things with vellum, but it's been a really long time. There's certain pens that I have that will actually write on vellum and stay and some that just smear. So I'll have to sort of test that out and figure out what ones I can use again. I just think it's so cool that they did that. And so it's throughout the whole entire thing. As you can see, um, page for page, you know, there's a number of different things that you can color and then there's columns. So, you know, you really could do whatever. You could just like plop some color over. I don't like covering it so you can't read it. I don't know. This is something to me that feels taboo even in a journaling Bible. But, you know, so I'll probably maybe just like put color over it, but I'll just use like those pastel -y things and then you can write on the side. And then you have you know, just multiple different things that you can do as you go through. And ones like this are just really cool to me as far as, you know, this is like the layout of the Ten Commandments and they just, you know, did it a little differently. But let's see. And then, so these ones are just in the side margins. And then we're getting close. Yep, there's another signature. So isn't that just so cute, y'all? I mean, and it's through the whole entire thing. So as you go, you know, you can just see all, all different ones, every signature. So like every, I don't know, 30, 40 pages or so, it does it again. It's just so cool. I'll show it in the right direction here. So it's just, it's absolutely adorable. I, I, I'm loving it. So I haven't really, like, like you saw, I haven't really gotten into it much yet. <clears throat> it's not going to be something that I necessarily do every single day. It's just something I'm purposing to use for, you know, just some downtime. And then the back, oh, I didn't even notice this. So the back has this like paper gusseted pocket. And then I assume these look like stickers. I haven't even seen this. It was in that back pocket and I didn't, I actually didn't know it had a back pocket. <laughs> So here we go. Yep, these are stickers. So, oh, that's cool. So maybe, maybe they were thinking, you know, you could color these and put some of these on the vellums too. And then a little create your own tabs sticker. I'm not gonna use tabs on this, but it's still neat anyway. So that's so cool. And then it's just in here. So like if you had anything else that you wanted to tip in, you could just um, put it in here and then kind of come back and pull it out to stick it in the Bible. So, so cool. So yeah, that's, that's it. Now from the um, actual website i want to say from like tyndale themselves this was like 50 or 60 dollars but i found it on amazon i can tell you because i don't remember and y'all know that i i say this with a caveat because i really very much dislike giving prices because every time i do the price changes and i mean things on amazon change a lot too so 
Give me a second. I just ordered it not long ago. So it was, price is not here. <laughs> it was $40.21 down from $59.99. So on the actual website, it was $59.99 and I got it for $40 from Amazon. So, um, and there's lots of different ones. Let me see if they show, yeah, okay. So right here, of course they're not gonna show any of them big. This one was the other one I almost got. And this one's equally as beautiful. Can you see that? There. That one is really, really pretty and I almost got that one too. But I just thought that this spoke of me more with the purple than this one, even though it is just as beautiful. So there are a lot of different ones that they have and they have them all on Amazon or if you just want like a plain one that's um, not, you know, it's, it's just a color and it doesn't have like the picture like this. Like I, I actually thought about this one too where it's just purple and it does have like a black embossed butterfly. But again, this one just brought me a little bit more joy when I was looking at it. So I chose this one instead. This one also does have like a little elastic to close it if that's something that you're interested in. So a bunch of these are on Amazon. Like this, just the plain ones are only $35. So, you know, just something to bear in mind if you are looking for something to Bible journal in. I am super looking forward to doing this and I will definitely, um, once I've really gotten into it more, I will do a flip through on here again so that you guys can see how it has come along. It's gonna take me a while though <laughs> because I, I don't intend on doing this every single day so but i definitely will come back and and show you guys how far i have gotten with it all right wonderful so if you guys don't follow me on instagram don't forget it is planner mumsy 2.0 for now hopefully someday instagram will unlock my account and i will be back to my regular account but for now that is where you can find me and feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.